Hey, hey, you guys, how you guys doing? Today I'm gonna do a review on the Natasha Denona Love Palette. Love Palette, look at that. <laughs> it's nice, isn't it? It's pink, kind of like futuristic, and shiny fluorescent. Looks like a hologram. All right, so I just got this palette from Sephora. Um, what happened was I ordered it online, but when it arrived, the shimmer sort of dislodged from the pan. So I had to return it to Sephora, but they were gracious enough to give me a new pan. And I'm so happy. I'm so happy to do this review for you guys. Um, what struck me most about the pan was the color pink. Now, you know, my favorite color is pink. And this is the Love Play palette, Love palette. So it is nice. I really wanted the shimmer and the blusher to be in one palette with the eyeshadow because, you know, it good, it's good for travels. So I said, I, I, I really like the pinks and I like the fact that it's all in one, your eyeshadow, your blusher, and your shimmer. And I said, yeah, I, I really wanted the palette. You know, since I'll be doing some traveling soon, <laughs> very soon. Okay, so like, let's start. Now, what I normally do is that I use a lot of dark colors. I use a lot of deep colors, um, sometimes for performance, but generally I do like um, darker colors on my lids. You know, of course people, there's so much of, you know, um, debate about this to use darker colors in the outer corners. For me, no. If I have to outline my entire <laughs> eyelids with it, I would, you know. So it's just preference. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to take my Selena Gomez eyeshadow brush. Now this is something you can get off of Sephora. And I've been using this brush. You can see it's there's a slight slant tip to it. So it picks up color very well and then it just goes on, glides on your uh, eyelid. And of course I fell in love with the color pink. Remember what I told you? <laughs> pink is my favorite color. Baby pink that is, alright? So I'm going to pick up the darker shade, the, the deepest shade here. Now I will link all the products that I've used, including the, the blushes, the, the brushes, in the description box below as I normally do. So you guys can go shopping and do some comparison prices and all that. And if you can get a dupe on the brush, well, that's up to you. All right, so let's start. Um, all right, I'm just going to go in with the, like a dark brown like a mahogany brown here. I'm just gonna tap off the excess. You always have the talc, you see, can you see? So you always tap off the excess. You just go ahead and just apply this on my lid. Now I've already prepped my face. I've already um, done my makeup, my eyebrows, my foundation. Oh wow, this is like easy to apply. It's so soft. Can you see guys? It's like so soft and easy to apply. There's not much fallouts. Can you guys see? I like that color. It is like dark, deep and dark. It's pretty much my color. Mm, nice. All right, now the other eye. This is my first Natasha Denona product and I'm impressed. It's so soft. The way the powder just glides on, you don't have to rub the whole product in. It's soft. It's so easy to apply. Yeah. Alright, so it doesn't have to be uh, so even you know you can see here it's, it's really uneven it doesn't have to be even because I'm gonna blend this out later and then what I'm gonna do is just I'm gonna take the the shade with the shimmer here and just apply it on the eyelid so it gives you that pop of color this is how I normally do my makeup and it's, it's pretty much how I do my makeup every day and even if I have a performance all right so this is the shade I'm going to just apply this on my over the color. 
oh wow you see that <laughs> it's like uh stars you know there there is a little bit of fallout here so i could tap off the excess here well it looks like a gray the shade's like a gray uh sort of like a slate gray all right okay so you can see the shimmer on top of the uh, brown eyeshadow and I'm just gonna blend it out so this is how I normally do my makeup I just blend out so I get that smoky eye effect I love the brown smoky eye effect I don't really change my uh, makeup on a daily basis but yeah, the smoky eye has been with me for a long, long time, and I really like this look. For some reason, I like this makeup because I, I don't like the natural look so much. That's, that's just outdated. All right, so you, as you can see, I just blend it out. All right. Now, what I'm going to do, I have this uh, technique where I apply... Um, crayon, uh, eye, eye pencil, or just an eye pencil, your normal call, coal, whatever you call it, and just on the apply on the upper uh, lid. All right, it doesn't have to be even, just apply because we're going to go over, right? Just apply so you guys can see how I do this, and the other eye. All right, it doesn't have to be even. Okay. Now on its own, it's fine, but what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna go over, and oh, by the way, <laughs> this is the Makeup, uh, Makeup Forever Aqua Resist uh, in the shade black. Again, I will do all the listings below so you guys know what products I'm using. You can go shopping. And uh, then I'm gonna go over this with the KVD, the Kat Von D's Trooper Black Liner. The world's favorite liner. <laughs> this is also my favorite liner, all right? Just mix it, make sure you mix all those, the, the, the shakers inside, and then just apply. So the color really mixes. Now you go over that line by the crayon, which I just did. Now just go over that call line, all right? And I'm going to create a wing here, wing effect here. All right. And then on the other eye, oh, can you guys see? All right. All right, guys. So what I've done is that I put on some pencil black pencil liner and I went over it with a liquid liner now the reason I did that was is so this is a technique by a lot of makeup artists so that the color stays on your lid and it doesn't you know it doesn't smudge and uh, it lasts longer now this is also some of the techniques makeup techniques that I learned from Mario Devanovich that's Kim Kardashian's makeup artist and this was the technique he used on Kim Kardashian on her wedding day so that the eyeliner stays uh, stays put, lasts longer because you're having a, like a double double uh, film over the eye eyelids. You have the carbon from the pencil and the liquid liner, so it lasts longer. You know, so it, uh, that that's the trick. That's a, just a trick that you may want to 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 try out. Now, what I normally do is that I apply eyeliner on the bottom of my uh, eye, uh, eyes here and I'm going to use the shade Teddy by MAC Cosmetics this is also one of my favorite eyeliners so I'm just gonna now guys it doesn't have to be straight yeah I just applied line it doesn't have to be straight because I'm gonna apply another color over that now Teddy is a uh, brown eyeshadow with some gold flecks so it gives you that little bit of gold uh, sort of shimmer you know a little bit of gold flecks so the eyes really pop 
Okay, so what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to take a, this brush and I'm going to stamp. I'm going to use this color, the red color here, this sort of like a maroon color, and stamp it at the bottom of my uh, my eye, my eyelids here, my my, my waterline, so that uh, it looks a bit more um, bright. And you and I really want to use the pink in the palette to really pop the color out. All right, so I'm just going to stamp it in, so you guys can see. You just stamp in the color so you get that dual effect. You can see the browns as well as the pink popping right through. Can you see that? And then just blend it out. All right. So yeah, so you get that pink effect. You can do it on your waterline. All right. So you 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 can see that little red. Uh, sort of like a pink and gold brown uh, theme going on under your eye at the bottom of your waterline all right so this is this is how I really like my makeup all right and then you you just once I'm done I just go in with the mascara easy peasy this is by Sephora the outrageous curl also one of the best seller at Sephora and I can see why because it's just so easy to lengthen and to give it some volume now again what I do is I go with a double layer of mascara now this is the size up mascara also from Sephora I will link this down in the description so that your mascara lasts longer and it lengthens and volume so one mascara is to uh, voluminize and one is to lengthen so you get both the effects yeah so that's one of my tricks that I wanted to tell you guys and then now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go in with the shimmer powder here and do my inner corners now that you know the the eyeshadow the eye uh, liner the liquid eyeliner has all settled in now use the shimmer and just color your inner corner so your eyes look brighter all right that's that's just my trick oh dear look at that <laughs> it's so soft ay 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 caramba it's so soft it's like i feel like i hit the pan it's not supposed to be this way it looks like it's liquid yeah so mm, it looks pretty soft so be be gentle with your shimmer i did have a problem with the previous palette where i had to return it because it dislodged i hope i don't have this problem <laughs> now all right so i've done my eyes i'm just going to go in with a simple lip this is um rare beauties uh lively by selena gomez which you can get in sephora it's like a nude pink uh new peachy pink on me Simple, simple, like a romantic look here, because it's really pinky pink and nice. All right, so that's yeah. I'm not gonna go in with an eye uh, with a liner. I think this is sufficient. Now, if you can see, I'm using the the sharper edge, like to draw a liner. It's one of my tricks as well, so that I don't need to use. Uh, lip liner all right so that's my look for today using the Natasha Denona palette I used uh, three shades and I think uh, you can go with the smoky look you can go with the uh, pink look but for today this is the look that it, and this is this is actually my normal everyday look so yeah I do I do love it now I'm happy I got this palette because I've been traveling a lot but I just not happy that <laughs> this is too soft you can see like you can you see like it's already breaking ah it shouldn't be breaking it's too soft how do i travel with this all right let's see 
I'll do, uh, I'll, t I'll give you an update on how this palette is in the next couple of months, whether it holds up. But for now, I really like the color, I really like the look. And um, yeah, so this is my first purchase from Natasha Denona. And uh, it's okay, it's all right, looks all right, all right, looks all right. I'm happy with the, um, the texture that it's able to blend. And uh, above all, it's in a travel friend friendly uh, palette. So I'll see you guys in my next video. And um, let me know what do you think of this looks? What do you want to see? Put it down in the comments below. Okay, you guys, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.